What's going on guys? Sync Wave be back again with some more GBO2 and today we got the Gapfully. And this suit here is uh pretty good. Like it's like Mark 2 no Mark 2 Mark 3 cross Ashima cross uh Marisai. Just the Mario side, just because you know it's got, you know it's got the Fedeim, uh, Fedeim beam rifle, and obviously with the beam bayonet and with the beam saber, it gives it two melee weapons, so you can kind of do like some striker custom type of deal. Uh, I wouldn't say striker custom, or more more like GM striker, but um, it's definitely a monster. You know the the uh, the Fedeim beam rifle. Th this shoots 450 range, right? Uh, one it, when it's charged, I'm guessing it's gonna be like 500, 550, something around there. Maybe six. I'm not too sure. Uh, but you know the damage that it can deal is insane just because as you can see like the cannon stun as well so it's got that double stun potential but the fact the the, the main thing that makes this suit good is it's actually really good in mobile armor mode because like I said it's got traits like Ashima you know how Ashima can like basically empty his clip empty and overheat his weapon in mobile armor mode and then switch to mobile suit mode and his you know a separate energy you know he can just keep shooting this suit can do that um, and it's got a really good range of its melee and it's, it just hits hard there's no piercing with any of its weapons um, but that, it, that's not what's going to make this suit uh, like really shine. The thing that makes it shine is uh, the fact that it's actually really good. It's got double stun potential in, in its mobile armor mode. So yeah, you can charge, you know, you charge your beam rifle in mobile armor mode, it's actually 1.5 seconds. So it's faster than your mobile uh, your mobile suit mode. And then if you've got uh, your when you got your cannons that you do uh, a hundred extra damage um, but they overheat in one shot. But they come back really they come back uh, in fifteen seconds. But you know, the fact that, you know, once you charge your beam rifle you hit them, then you shoot them with the cannons, and then you switch back to mobile armor mode. Like your cannons are not overheated, right? So you can shoot them again with your cannons, or you know, get a couple of shots with the beam rifle. You're gonna see me do it in a in a little bit, where I'm literally putting pressure on. I think it was the enemy uh, Jaeger, um, like. You, you can't get away from this suit if it really wants you dead with that with those combos and as you can see right now poor uh, Bolognok getting destroyed <laughs> um, yeah this suit is crazy with the combos like um, I demonstrated the the um, the maximum damage combo you could probably do with this suit. Right, here it is, right here. So, we've got the double stun up him, shoot him, attack fire with the beam rifle, hit him, then I hit him with the cannons and killed him. You know, if he stayed alive, that cannon would have re stunned him, then I'd be able to follow up again with the beam rifle. And if he stayed alive, even after that, I switch back into mobile mobile suit mode and just keep laying the fire down on them. Exactly the same as Ashima. So, yeah, this suit is like uh, a top tier shooting suit. 
similar to uh, Mark III pretty up there I would say with Ashamont like this suit I don't you know it still needs for me it still needs I still need to get more used to it like you know it takes me like a few games to actually understand how how I should play a certain suit and then you know be able to maximize my damage output you know but this is pretty much the best showcase of what you need to be doing and you need to abuse the mobile armor mode you can't yes this like Ashima you know Ashima you abuse both the modes right you have to do it with this suit as well like if you don't do it if you don't use your mobile armor mode you're wasting a lot of potential damage because you, you actually shoot your weapons you charge your weapon faster in mobile armor mode so it does it does what I think it's 200 200 less damage but that really is not nothing since the fact that you can like kind of rapid fire it it's got better heat rate in mobile uh, armor mode with the the Fedian beam rifle it's got better heat rate I think it's like 55 or something like that something like that but as you can see I just hit that man with a 4k but um yeah, Bonalog has got bad uh, beam defense, so that's probably not a good example. But it definitely is. Uh, it lays, it can lay down the pressure. The only downfall about this suit is that it's big. That like it's big and it's slow. It's 120 speed movement speed. Um, I think it's 200 like top speed. But like the movement speed is like uh, a support. Like it's the same as Seventh Gundam. Seventh Gundam is 120 speed. Like I mean, you know, there's suits out there that are actually faster than this suit and their supports, which is it's funny. But, uh, it makes up for it for how much damage the damage output that you can actually dish out if you actually you know get good with it um it can do a lot like it can really do a lot and the fact that it's got two beam sabers you know the beam bayonet and this normal beam saber it it can you know do the melee stuff and like literally combo you to death like certain certain rays get combo to death like it's not real. Like this suit is it's like a henchman bro, like you know it's like it's slow but it it dishes out the damage, you know. That that's really how I can explain it man. So yeah, um my thoughts on the Gapfully is it's a really good shooting suit. Or pretty much a really good all round suit. Let's put it that way. It primarily shooter, but it can do everything pretty good. Is the downside is is kind of slow, but you can work yourself around that. And uh, shout outs to everybody that was with me. Uh, Lt Sars, Six Poster, Hi Amy here or Amy, um, and Grim Dude. And yeah, that is the game. And I catch you guys in the next one. God bless.